So now we've seen that addition is adding a given number to a different number and subtraction is taking away or removing something from that given number. Let us now look at another interesting example. Suppose in this case we have, again we will take the example of marbles. And suppose we're talking of a marble manufacturing company. And in this case, suppose mar marbles manufactured in one day is equal to 25. So there's just one small machine in that company which produces only 25 marbles each day. However, in a year, the machine works for 300 days. So marbles manufactured in one day is 25. And so machine works for 300 days. So on each day, the number of marbles manufactured is 25 and there are 300 such days. And now we want to find the total number of marbles manufactured by that machine in 300 days. So we will now check what is the total number of marbles. So now we are not talking about colored or colorless marbles, we are talking about the total number of marbles here. And assume that in one day, the number of marbles made is 25 and we have to find in 300 days, how many marbles will be made. Well, now this can be done by what we've already learned. We've already learned addition. And so this can also be done by addition. Let us see the scenario here in one day, 25 marbles have been made. So this is the count for the first day. On the second day, again, 25 marbles will be made. So this will be the number of marbles made in the second day, 25. In a similar manner, on the third day also, we will have 25 more marbles being made. This process will continue till we finally come to the 300th day because the machine works for 300 days. So here we will have 300 days. And on the 300th day, again, 25 marbles will be made. Now note that if we add 25 each time, we will have to add 25 300 times. And so this is 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 and so on 300 times, which should give you the final answer of the total number of marbles made in 300 days. But note that this operation can be performed in a more intelligent manner. So let us see how this operation can be performed in a more intelligent way. Here, if we write the same expression below, and if we take 25 out of each of these terms, so I'm taking 25 out of this term. So first I'll put a bracket over here. And this is the count of the total number of marbles. And out of this, note that each of these numbers is 25. And so I can take 25 common out of the bracket. So I will take 25 out. And what will remain inside is, if I take a 25 out of this, I will get a 1. Twen taking 25 out of this will again leave me with a 1. Again, this will be, 25 will be taken out. And so I will get a 1 here as well. And so this will continue to the last number where it's 25 again. Now again, this 25 has been taken out. So what remains is a 1. Now note that this one corresponds to this 25, which was for the first day. So this was the first day. This 25 corresponds to this one, which was for the second day. This for the third day and so on till we finally get to this 25, which is the 300th number. So here we have, because you've taken 25 out, we have 25 out of this bracket and inside the bracket, I have just ones. And how many ones do I have? Well, I have 300 number of ones. And so if I perform one plus one plus one 300 times, I will get the value 300. And so I can now write this is same as 25 into 300 in the bracket. This is because I added one 300 number of times and I got 300 here. And so I multiply 25 by 300 now. And this will give me the answer 7500. So now we've seen that whenever we want to add the same number again and again, we can replace it by a more efficient operation and that operation is called multiplication. So now this is the problem that we started with and we have now learned it how to solve using multiplication. So multiplication is nothing but repeated addition of the same number. Here the number 25 was repeatedly being added and so we wrote 25 multiplied by the number of times that has been added that is 300 and so we got 25 multiplied by 300 as the answer to this question. So this was all about multiplication. Let us now see an equally interesting operation called division. Let us now look at a more interesting scenario. And in this case, we'll again talk about the number of marbles. And we will say that number of marbles that we have in all in this case is equal to 240. So if the total number of marbles is 240, but this time we have to distribute the marbles amongst eight kids. So we have 
number of kids is equal to 8 and we have to distribute 20, 240 marbles between 8 kids. So the total number of marbles here is 240 and we have 8 kids which will sh divide that 240 marbles among each other equally. So now to solve this problem note that the number of marbles is 240 and the number of kids that it has to be distributed amongst is 8. So now comes the word distribution. That is we are now distributing the marbles among kids and whenever we come across the word distributing or sharing or in other words we come across something called as dividing then whenever we are either distributing something or sharing something or dividing something then the operation that we perform is known as division. So this question is an example of a division operation. Now let us see how we can solve this question. Note that the total number of marbles is 240 and so the number of kids here is given to be 8 and so when we use this two piece of data then we divide this number larger number which is the number of marbles by this smaller number which is the number of kids and so the operation that is to be used here is division of this number by 8 and now we know how to perform division so we will write this number 240 that is to be written or that is to be divided by 8 so we will write the final answer as 240 divided by 8. So here the number of marbles with each kid is equal to total number of marbles divided by the number of kids. So now in this case I can write a general formula for the number of marbles that each kid has. And so the number of marbles with one of the eight kids will be equal to total number of marbles. So I'll write this as total number of marbles divided by so I will divide the total number of marbles by the number of kids and so I will get the total number of marbles with each kid that is the same thing I have done over here I have written total number of marbles with one kid so marbles with one kid is equal to the total number of marbles that is 240 divided by the number of kids that is 8 and so when we perform 240 divided by 8 which we know will be performed in this manner so I write this 240 here which is to be divided by 8 which is written here and we know that 8 threes are 24 and so I will get a 24 over here which will leave me a remainder 0 and so I can now say that here because we have a 0 we will include a 0 here as well and so we will now say that whenever 240 is divided by 8 we get the value 30 and so the number of marbles will each kid with each kid will be 30 and so I will write 240 divided by 8 is equal to 30 and so the answer that we will get is equal to 30 and this will be the number of marbles with one kid. So we have now seen how division can be performed. Note that this was a very easy example but even complicated looking numbers can be divided in the same manner that is you write the number to be divided here and then the number or the number of groups that it is being divided into is written here and so you divide this number by this and so you get the answer which will be the number of marbles in this case with each kid and so we've now seen that multiplication was repeated addition of the same number whereas division was continued or repeated subtraction of the same number so this is all about operation that can apply on natural and whole numbers